Hi guys, so today we're at Cooladine Burial Ground and I was told it is actually a Quaker's graveyard. So it's very overgrown and in the distance there we can see lots of headstones. So we'll have a look here first. Elsie Carroll Coolheart, wife of William Herbert Coolheart of Holywell in Escorty, died in 74, aged 79, so not a very old grave. William Plummer. Died in 1927, aged 69. And I have to be very careful where I'm walking because some of these don't have headstones, but you can tell because the area is built up. So we go back up along. Um, Eleanor Roberts, 1971. Be careful not to step on the, the grave. I think that says Marsery. Gothic, Gothic. Wife of Charles. Born 18. So these are the mounds I'm talking about. They're built right up into what just looks like dirt or muck. Ah, and here we have Davis, and Davis were some of the names that were in Cologne. We have Mary Alice Davis, wife of Albert Samuel Davis, and it seems to be a very um, common surname in the Quaker community that I have seen anyway. She died in 1929 and she was 68. And another built up area. Albert Samuel Davis again. Baby here, Elizabeth, infant daughter of Albert and Mary Alice Davis, who died at the 4th of February 1884. Uh, and she was only five days old. So, this is Joseph, and Joseph was 86 years of age and he died in 1912. Right, so I've just come around the mounds and I'm not sure whether the camera is even picking them up and I've noticed more headstones and it's very similar to the video I did in Cologne burial ground for Quakers so I'm not sure whether this is a date there. Eighteen seventy six, and it's Margaret Watson, I think it is. And aged. 
can't read it. But it's, uh, she died 1876. That's. Can't read anything on that. Unfortunately, these are stuck right at the back of the burial ground. William Waring and William was 78 when he died and he died in 1933 It's a shame see the area so overgrown but it's absolutely stunning Want to go the far side of the burial area, and there's more mounds here, but no headstones. Margaret Bobbier died the seventh month in 1881 and she was 57 years old. Wow. So these are obviously a little bit older. With Joshua, Joshua Bobbier. And he died the seventh of the first month, so January in eighteen seventy-four, and he was fifty-seven years of age. Thomas Bobier, the twenty-fourth of the eleventh month, eighteen seventy, and he was eighty-seven years. So, 1783, I think. So he would have been born in 1783. Wow. And behind Thomas, we have Margaret. Same surname, Bavier. And she died in 18... 1857. Aged 75 years. We have all these unmarked graves here. It's just those little mounds of dirt, but they have no headstones, no markers. Make our way right to the very end of the burial ground and we find. Joseph Warren. He died the seventh month of 1814, aged. Could be 71 years. That's actually a beautiful burial ground. All overgrown, but. 
It's like a meadow. And you can see the mounds there again. James Webb, I think it is. 1954, aged 78. And this is the boundary here is just a ditch for some beautiful trees. That's all from the vlog today, uh, from this lovely burial ground. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Until next time, God bless.